Welcome back. As always, it is your host, your friend, your mate, Arachnid Soul. I know a lot of people have been playing Daggerfall Unity recently. This is the modded version of Daggerfall. Has a bunch of mods, a bunch of upgrades to the 1996 game. But at the same time, I know a lot of people have been struggling in this dungeon. Hope my audio is fine for this, using a different setup this time than I usually do. Let's see if we can get you through some of the basics of this game. So I've just created this character. I've never played this game before with this build. I'm playing with a warrior. And I know a lot of people start playing this and then they turn the game off because it's too difficult and their hits aren't hitting. The first thing you need to do is realize what your person's attributes are. So my guy's a warrior, he's good in long blade. Let's see, steel broadsword, you can see all of the information down here. Zero to seven damage, zero to five, one to 12. Let's go with that. They start you in this game with random build of stuff. We're gonna stumble through this together. Now there's going to be a rat behind this door and to the right. Watch how I approach this rat. There's the rat. Okay, back up, give myself some room. And I go in, I take a little hit. Second time. A lot of people die on that rat. Now hopefully we'll find some more gear as we go along here. I'm not going to play too far into this. All right, nice. So we've some gold, some boots, bow and arrow, which I won't use because I'm not proficient in it. Put the boots on, that's six armor. The helmet, as we can see down here, seven armor. So we've started to build this guy. Do we have a better sword yet? No, we don't. Go up here, there's gonna be a bat up here. Let's just quick save. Not that my commands are working, but in any case. This isn't Skyrim, this is based on dice rolls. This game was made, they would have been making this bit right here in 1993. Full game released in 96. I'm actually going to save here, let's call this. Arachnid Soul YouTube. This guy's gonna be annoying. I also am not used to playing this with a giant mic in front of my head. Also, as you play this, you're gonna build up a bunch of different stats and you'll build up long blade, you'll build up a bunch of things you need for combat and you'll get much better at the combat. But as you can see, it is doable. You gotta use a little technique. Is there gonna be a rat in here? It sounds like it. Let's open the door. Stick our head in. No, there's not, all right. Unless he's behind me somewhere and I missed him. Now we have a better long blade. So this is what I'm gonna go with, because as you can see, this is three to 16 damage, as opposed to what I have, which is one to 12 damage. Take the gold, we have some gloves now. Starting to see how this comes along. Okay, my class can't equip those gloves, but I will equip this steel katana. I don't know why. All right. Let me unequip that and see if I can, there we go. And actually, let's do this. This is key also. I'm going to rest until fully healed. You'll see my health come back here. And if quick save was working, I would be using it, but we're gonna be doing a lot of that. So we're past the first little obstacle. Open this up. There's a rat in there, okay, no big deal. Sometimes you can kinda... 
use the environment and hide behind things. Now it is possible that you will build a character that is so horrible that you will not be able to get out of this starting dungeon. This is the tutorial dungeon. The maps in this game are randomly generated in terms of dungeons, but the main maps and story quest maps and things like that are not. But yeah, if you've started with such a horrible character, now this is a thing I like to do. We're gonna pull up the map right here. And I know this map looks very intimidating and confusing, but you know, you can scroll in, you can kind of see, okay, we started down here. We walked, this is where we fought the first rat. Came up here, and now we're going downstairs. But as you can tell, this hallway continues. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go a little bit over here and I'm just doing this just so I can see, okay. That's gonna continue just so I know as a reminder. Let's see if anybody's down here. Yes. All right, so let her come up. This is more like boxing or like a combat sport of fighting in this game. So you stick and move. It's not Skyrim. You don't just go forward. It looks like I'm gonna get her. One more hit. Let her come forward. She might get me. There we go. As you can imagine, this would be extremely frustrating for a lot of new players. I'm not a seasoned player of this game. I've only been playing for a month. There's no nostalgia. I didn't play the game previously. Let's see what we have here. Sometimes you'll see things like, let's say that this was a dagger. Here's a dagger. And let's say this dagger was, had more damage points than the longsword. I'm not proficient in that. It would be like if I were, and I'll go back to the combat sport references, it would be like if I were a boxer and I were trying to compete in submission wrestling. It's just not gonna work. So you can always do this as long as there's no enemies nearby. And as you saw there at the top of the screen, the way that this game works, here are my stats. The way that this game works is the more you do something, the more it gets leveled up. It's a true RPG. We can go to my primary skills here and it's telling you with the long blade, this is when I'm gonna level up, when I hit 25. So I haven't even reached one yet. You've got all these skills. This game is so much more in depth than Skyrim is. These are all the things you can level up in. You can actually level up in anything, even if you haven't set it. These were the choices that I made, so everybody can see. Even if you haven't set, say, a high proficiency in intelligence, you can work on intelligence in the game or any other stat. You can level them up. And one of the key things about this game is it's just so rewarding to be able to do stuff over time. It's so rewarding to see your character get built. This is 3 to 12. Let's see what we have here. It's 3 to 16. We'll still take it. We see we have some gauntlets here. It's possible that it's going to let us equip those. And it does. And as you can see down here six armor so we're getting much stronger I'm not gonna use that I'm not gonna use any of these weapons all right let's continue usually I have a quick save map to my mouse so I don't have to worry about doing this and going through all this stuff but as you can tell that does not take that long is there a bat up here yes there is <laughs> Easy work. Now notice, I'm not doing just this. This is not a good idea. You wanna stick and move, you wanna move backwards, move out of range. The reason that your sword will hit 
and it might not register is because again these are dice rolls so let's go back in here what's my strength what's my luck what's my agility these things are going to play in Just her? Okay, he got me good there. Come on down, sir. Come on down. The price is right. I haven't been able to hit this dude once. This dude's just wearing me out. Now, if I had some type of magic, I could use magic spells, but I don't want to fight you on the step, sir. Sometimes you just wait for them to swing and then you move in kind of pick up scraps I think this will be our first oh and you have okay this will be our first death most likely but that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to die we're gonna skip this cutscene now watch this we're gonna load this save and you go back right back in this is a roguelike game this is how these Elder Scrolls games were it's nice that that flashed all of that stuff just now but we'll edit that out there's gonna be a cut there you're gonna wonder what happened don't worry about it now what i could do and i should have saved after this bat i'm getting sloppy what i could do is kill this bat rest a little bit probably rest for rest for a while let's put this at one hour that should bring back any health that we've lost. And go here, save. And now we're gonna come back in here and fight this guy again. Is he right by the door? Because if he's not, we can use this room to our advantage. Even though he's an archer. As you can see, I changed nothing about my build. He's gonna get me again. I changed nothing about my build, but I had a lot more success that time. In Skyrim, you'd just be able to go right through and just massacre everyone straight away. Wow, I rushed him and he still got a hit. So don't look at this as you're going to get better every single time. Because again, these are dice rolls and he has his own numbers and he's rolling the die as well. Let me just look at my stuff real quick and see if... Plus six armor. Can I even wear this? basically the same thing except this is if you look down here you can tell this is worn and this is new so I'm gonna go with new let's let's look at the weapons real quick 3 to 12 1 to 17 three to six, let me go with 3 to 16 yeah, it looks like I don't have any other stuff I could put this on over the top or there. Okay, let me just save so I can have that outfit on again when I die here in a second. Um, another thing that well, shoot heard me talking. Come on, bruh. get on the other side there might be something I can do is there anybody in here come on the guy didn't follow me there's nobody in here it's bad what I want to do is get that skeleton so let's 
see the skeleton up here. Let's do this. Shut this door behind us. Hopefully the skeleton does not see me. Can I... Okay, so he has seen me. Okay. But this is the kind of stuff you have to do in this game. So let's see if we can... Beautiful. The skeleton killed that guy. So what I'm trying to do is get the skeleton to fight this dude over here, which I should be successful in doing. I know you're still out there. Okay, he's got the arrows. Wow. Wow. Is he gonna follow me in here? There we go. And you just slip out the back door. Enemies will fight enemies in this game. This is not a tactic I would usually use, but he's down to 14 HP, so guess what I'm going to do here? As soon as he gets hit, well, they're getting a little close. So I'm going to assume that he killed him. Skeleton Warrior just died, so the guy has uh, survived, but guess what? That gave us enough time to back up here. Still enemies nearby? Let's see. Unless somebody res down here. Still enemies. My plan was... I just see somebody go in there? Let's go down here. Hide in the corner. My plan was... Okay. So he's, he's come in here now, if that's still him. How much health do you have? Wow. Dude had some type of magic spell, so that didn't work. All right. I should point out also that this is kind of the hardest part of the game, the beginning. And I would tell you, suffer through this. Don't give up. Don't put it on an easier mode, which you could. Now, if the dude keeps rushing you like this, you might actually have to keep swinging. I'm trying to give him enough room, but not too much, because then he's just going to go Archer. We got one hit left on this dude if we can get him, which we can't. Okay. Come on, dude. We see you there. Listen, if you want to handicap yourself by being behind the door... Somebody's gonna say, yeah, it's a good idea to fight people on steps, and different people have different strategies in this game. As you can tell, I finally got them. But I don't like fighting on the steps. Let's see here. Just take all this stuff. Looks like I saw something cool I could put on their pants. Save here. Until fully healed. Beautiful. Gonna save again. I know there's a lot of people that are gonna say, oh my god, I would have turned this off already. To do what I just did, just in killing that guy and getting to here the first time, probably took me an hour. So let's see here. Skeleton's gonna come down here again, hopefully. He's up there, bat's down here. The bat can't open the door. Of course, if you let the bat in, then 
Now we gotta fight this guy. Do we want to fight him in a small room? No. So we're gonna come out here. And just, you know, you just gotta dance with this dude. Would a blunt force a weapon work better on a skeleton? Yes, it would. Do I have a blunt force weapon? Bro, you're coming at me full. This dude would have given guys some problems already. This is where it'd be better if I had magic. You got 40 HP, dude? Bro, I know there's like a bear or something in here. Let's just see if we can get some help with this dude. Either that or we're gonna get trapped in this room, one of the two. What happened? There was a bear in there. Here's the skeleton. Where's the bear? This is bad. That's what you don't want. Somebody needs to come in here. Either the bear or the skeleton. Both. There we go. Let those two fight for a second. And while those two are fighting, I'm actually going to come. Grizzly bear has just died. Nice. I was actually hoping maybe the skeleton died, but, you know, we'll take it. And I've just leveled up. So let's see here, what do we need? Let's put one more point in strength. Luck is basically gonna increase your dice rolls with everything in this game, so put a point into that. Endurance, which is our health. Mm. We'll put one into agility. And as you can see at the top of the screen, That was pretty bad. That's not a good situation at all. Bears can't open doors. So let's see if we can... Get anywhere with the door. Okay. I'm gonna save again. I cannot catch a break. And this woman's gonna kill me easily. So even though we just slept in here and the woman showed up, there's no guarantee that if we do it again, she's gonna show up again. Let's set this to four hours. You wake up. I wake up, why did I wake up? I woke up to save, and then guess what I'm gonna do? Let's, let's go for the full thing. Okay, fully healed. Gonna save again. We're gonna have to fight that skeleton. Let's see. Now, I could switch, if I wanted to, to something like this. One to 13 damage. A weapon that I have no idea how to use, but I do understand it's going to be better against a skeleton. Because it's a blunt force weapon. Come on, bear. I don't know why I thought this bear was going to be dead. This would be the first... The first thing I've ever killed in this game with a mace. This bear's not doing a lot of damage. I don't know why I'm showing it so much respect. Nothing inside the bear, okay. But different types of enemies are killed in different ways. Don't have the bestiary unlocked yet, or I'd show you that. Let me just go ahead and save again. Rest also. Hopefully nothing shows up. You're healed. Beautiful. Save one more time. 
And now we're gonna go back in there and we're gonna fight that skeleton under different circumstances. Oh, he's still. He's gonna be inside there. I can hear him screaming in here. You coming out, dude? I will fight you on the steps if I have the high ground, especially since I can kind of go off to the side if I need to. So what's going on here is while this type of weapon does more damage to the skeleton than the weapon I'm proficient in, the long blade, um, I'm actually gonna be able to hit him a lot less with this because I'm not proficient in it. It's good to close doors in this game because the enemies will move around. They will open doors and you'll hear them, so it's just a good sign. It's like playing a zombie game. But if you are unarmed, and my proficiency is low, so there's a chance here that I'm going to die doing this, but you can actually climb up walls. And if my proficiency in climbing was better, I'd make it all the way up here. I'm probably going to make it most of the way and then fall. Okay, now I made it. And then there's little levers things in this game. The longer it takes to heal, the more likely it is that some enemy's going to show up. Every time you rest, Whatever you've been doing in this game, you meditate, you think about it when you're asleep, and then it, it improves those skills. So if I go back now... Maybe because I'm in the tutorial, I don't know. Dodging, for example. So this is telling me that I am at 13 of 26. And when it gets full, I'm going to level up in that area. Enemies will fight even if you're not in the area, if they see one another. It has been your host, your friend, your mate, your boy, Arachnid Soul, coming to you as always with something a little bit fresh, a little bit new, a little bit different. Please give Daggerfall Unity a try. It is a one-click free installation and download from GOG.com. Well worth it. In my opinion, by far the most addicting Elder Scrolls game ever made. You'll find yourself playing this hours a day. The game gets much easier once you make it out of this tutorial dungeon. I would say 90% of people who played Skyrim and liked it will play this game and absolutely love it. And if you've played this, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you've played it since watching this, let me know. Stick with it. And I will catch you, my friend, later.